Okay, one of the tricks to laying out a really clear uh, calculation sheet in, in MathCAD is to make sure that you take advantage of its ability to integrate uh, drawings or, or pictures, uh, figures if you will, uh, into the MathCAD sheet itself. Now, I've got a MathCAD sheet open. This is just a calculation of capacity for a reinforced concrete beam. Uh, but you notice that I have this image in here, which makes the issues or all the definition of variables really crystal clear. Now there's two ways I normally do this. Sometimes I will integrate these variables and I'll put them you know, right up here. Now obviously I would have to draw the image uh, to, to allow me to do that. And other times I just have a very standard image with the variables uh, highlighted and then I just define them off to the right like I've done here. But what we want to do is to be able to put that image in. Now you can put in, you can basically insert any image and if we go up, uh, we're on the math tab, you see image or insert image uh, right here and it will add a link. So if I press the button, it adds this browse for image button down where you put it. And then if you press that, it will go to your computer and you can go find the image and bring it in. So, I, you know, what I want to do is to show you what I do because I create a lot of my own images. If you have an image and you want to put it in, that's great. Uh, and very specifically, what I normally try to do is to make sure that I'm using transparencies because it looks the best and allows you to optimize the space. Uh, this image would look uh, a lot less professional if it had a big white background. Now, what I use to put my images in, let me just get rid of this here for a second, is I tend to create the image in PowerPoint because PowerPoint has got a fairly decent uh, set of tools for creating images. So let me just switch off to PowerPoint here. So here we are in PowerPoint and you find the image. So this is where I created that image and I used the tools in PowerPoint to draw the image. Now, a couple things that I did, because I know that I want to use transparencies uh, on the background. First off, by having a background, I can see where I have transparency and where I don't. Uh, one of the things you want to do is to make sure your text boxes don't have a background so that they don't have a little white box or anything behind them. And, and so I've created this and I'm not going to just copy and paste it. It doesn't work that great. But what I want to do, particularly if I want those transparencies to come through, is I highlight it, right click, choose Save as Picture, and then I make sure that I've chosen PNG because that allows the transparency. If you do it as a JPEG, it won't recognize the transparency and it'll put a white background behind it. So we choose that. I never really worry too much about this because I keep my PowerPoint file. So if I want to change it, I can do that later. Uh, picture one and I normally just put it on my desktop, which I can delete later. And so having saved it on my desktop, uh, now I can go back to MathCAD. Let's do that. And now I can import it. So let's get rid of this, right? Because we're going to import it properly. So we'll delete it. And the other way to put in that image link is just a right click and it shows up here in the context menu. Choose insert image, choose that. Now I just choose desktop. I find picture one and I say open and you'll see it brings it in with the transparencies. Now, the nice thing is, is now you can size it. We didn't worry too much about the size before. And we can size it for our space and make it look and fit the document. And for the most part, almost all of the images that you're gonna see that I've created or have in my MathCAD sheets, that's exactly how I've created them. I've created them in PowerPoint. I usually maintain a, a master graphics uh, file for a lot of my work there and then I've just saved it as a PNG respecting the transparency and imported it right into MathCAD. So I encourage you to use images. They tell the story quite quickly. Those in your annotations and all the calculations that you're doing will be a lot clearer to the people looking at your calculation sheets.